When creating a closed element, such as a circle or a shape, an additional attribute is available in the tool settings, the fill attribute. There are three options for fill type. None, the area of the element inside of the outline is not filled. Opaque, the element is displayed as a solid shape. The outline has the same color as the fill. Outlined, the element is displayed as a solid shape. You can select a fill color that is different from the active color used for the outline. In this lesson, you will learn Fill Type, Change Element Fill Type, View Attributes, Fill. Continue in ElementAttributes.dgn in the default model. Set the active level to Geometry. Select Place Block from the Home Ribbon tab and Placement Ribbon group. Set the following values in the Tool Settings window. Method orthogonal, area, solid, fill type, outlined, fill color, 4. Enter two data points to define the block. As you can see, the block is displayed as a filled rectangle. Let's open View Attributes. This is the first icon in the View Control Bar at the top of View 1. You can also use the keyboard combination Control B. Ensure that the Fill View attribute is enabled for View 1. If this option is disabled, the filled area in the shape or circle is not displayed. Close the View Attributes dialog. To change the fill type of an existing element, use the Change Element Fill Type located in the Home Ribbon tab in the Modify Ribbon group. In the Tool Settings, set the following values. Fill Type, Opaque. Fill Color, Gradient. Select the filled block placed earlier. The fill is changed to a gradient fill. Note how the outline is no longer displayed. In this lesson you learned Fill Type, Change Element Fill Type, and View Attributes Fill. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.